I have frequently been asked by a person of my background, a former chief of the defense staff, a former chairman of the NATO military committee, why I think there is a cover-up, or what the reasons may be for governments wishing to cover up the facts about UFOs. And a number of explanations have often been put forward, of which the most frequent and perhaps the most plausible is that the governments concerned, which are primarily that of the United States and that of my own country, believe that if they told the truth, which is that there are objects in our atmosphere, which are technically miles in advance of anything that we can deploy, that we have no means of stopping them coming here, and that we have no defense against them should they be hostile, that, I believe, is because governments fear that if they did disclose those facts, people would panic People would rush about, jam the switchboard like they did on that famous day in New York when there was a spoof, Martians have landed. People will go mad and they'll jump up and down. I don't believe that at all. I've said so in print. I've said it in the foreword I wrote to one of Timothy Good's books. I do not believe that people today in the 21st century are going to panic at that sort of information. After all, they have put up with the introduction of nuclear weapons, the destruction of two Japanese cities 50 years ago. They take as a matter of course that we can land vehicles on Mars. They land to the precise instant forecast years before, vehicles on distant planets. Why should they panic? They're much more interested in, in this country in doing the pools or the lottery. They shrug their shoulders and take it as a matter of course. Anyway, they don't trust politicians, in my experience. So I believe that that is the most likely explanation. There are, of course, others, but I, I think I'll have to settle for that. We are being visited and have been visited for many years by people from outer space, from other civilizations, that it behoves us, in case some of these people in the future or now should turn hostile, to find out who they are, where they come from, and what they want. This should be the subject of rigorous scientific investigation and not the subject of rubbishing by tabloid newspapers.